we're just going to move on to the troubleshooting, the problem solving, the kind of challenges that make teaching recorder fun but challenging and I think that you'll probably all relate to these that we've got here so the first one noise sensitivity is that idea of actually when you have got 30 children playing together there will be a lot of children who just struggle with that sound so really important keep that idea of the silent play along the soloists the, the the sort of idea of smaller groups playing just so that you haven't got to experience that classroom recorder sound as much at all because it's a tough listen um, and if there are some children who are particularly sensitive with with high pitch sounds then that's when you, it's worth just having those ear defenders ready for those just because it, that's totally natural as well that they just find that just too much so it's being aware that that it is a high pitch instrument the recorder you read it the desk camp recorder not all, everyone knows this but the the pitch you're reading it in treble clef it's actually sounding out an octave higher so it is a high pitch sound so we just need to be aware of that and that's why these foundations of really encouraging children to listen to their sound from the start is, is so important squeaking notes if there's a squeak there's probably a leak that's our little saying there so check first of all that the fingers are covering those holes making sure that the pads of the recorder are on the whole not the fingertips because you're more likely to have leaks of air there so nice flat flatter fingers nice soft pads on there and just making sure that the air is not escaping if they're still squeaking they're probably blowing that bit too hard so then reminding them of that gentle airflow the candle flame or the tissue just to make sure just revisit that and just keep reiterating this and i i found that once you're doing that the children become so aware of what's going wrong they can sometimes tell their friends actually what's going wrong as well which is that peer feedback but it's that idea of actually just being really in control and responsible for your own sound different recorders and forgotten instruments now often you, you might have spare recorders in your classroom but if not and a child has forgotten their recorder then you can use a ruler you can use a pencil and you can get the children to just do exactly the same thing but be playing but using it because they're still then developing their finger dexterity and they can still do the do the do's, as we call it. And actually, the other idea of different recorders. Now, we haven't really mentioned this much, but some of you may be familiar with this particular type of recorder, which is the Aulos. We recommend these as being the best starter instruments. A lot of recorders that are sold in the high streets are sold as toys. And they're poorly made, poorly pitched, out of tune, and they no matter how much you try and develop the sound they're going to be out of tune with the other instruments so it's so important to get them to start on an instrument which really does actually work really well as a start instrument I've had this recorder for years and years in fact the one I started at primary school I've only recently replaced it with another one so they last and last and they are reliable really good instruments so I'd say that's so important getting that sort of that starting right and they're not hugely more expensive I think you can buy them on sing up now in group impacts of sets of 30 and I think they're about 10 pounds but anyway they're not they're not hugely expensive the next bit listen for the who so do the do's and not the who's now I don't think this is going to come through but if you hit, I'll just try playing very loudly and see the who's is where you have no clear start at the start of the note so does that come through can you hear that no it's all about the do's so you start the note with a, I talk about as you're talking, you're using your tongue to articulate. We do exactly the same thing in the recorder. Otherwise, we have a really horrible, soft, unclear sound to the kind of squidgy start to the note, which is not good. Breath control, fingering, all those things that we've been talking about. And then this idea then of challenging all ability levels. You will have some high flyers in your class. You'll have those who absolutely love the recorder and will want to play it and will be progressing very, very quickly. So we have in these recorder units their differentiated parts so you can encourage those children who are really going for it can you know to try to choose their own part so they can actually challenge themselves within it but also just making sure that if you're finding that they're not feeling challenged enough in the general lesson change the pace of the lesson stop playing a bit do some warm-ups do some other things come back again just to keep them focused and making sure that they're they're not getting bored that's that thing you can also invite children who are really do well to demonstrate and and groups of children to play and, and show what they've been you know how they how they do it 